Now, from the WDEF News 12 Sports Desk, brought to you by Xfinity, it's Touchdown Friday Night, sponsored in part by your Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union and Zaxby's. Welcome again to Touchdown Friday Night. I'm Rick Nyman. And I'm Webb Wright. Last week, McCauley beat Bowling Green, Kentucky, snapping the Purple's 48-game winning streak. Tonight, the Blue Tornado returned home, trying to snap another streak. Second-ranked McCauley entertained top-ranked Ensworth. The Blue Tornado have never beaten the Tigers, losing nine straight since 2007. Gumby takes streak busting a little too literal, but hey, that's Gumby. Second quarter, McCauley leads at 21-13 when Alex Trotter punches it in from the one. PAT was no good, so it's 27-13 McCauley. First snap for the Tigers following Trotter's score. PJ settles down the field to Rico McGraw. Only Gumby can stop him, and Gumby ain't around. 72-yard touchdown catch to make it 27-20. Under a minute before the half, McCauley answers. Javon Craig to Tyler Payne, a 35-yard TD pass. I almost felt the pain on that catch right at me. 34-20 McCauley at the half. Third quarter, McCauley DB Miles Patton playing like an NFL cover corner with that pick. Great play. And the Blue Tornado would cash in. Trotter. Up the middle from 11 yards out, it's 41 to 20. McCauley, Trotter, a buck 77 on the ground tonight. Back and forth we go. Donovan Sheffield has it for Ensworth. He bounces all over the place before bouncing in from 12 yards out. But the Tigers couldn't keep up with the Blue Tornado. McCauley wins it 62 to 34. Innsworth wasn't the only number one ranked team visiting our area tonight. Cleveland entertained top ranked Knox West. Already up 17-7 when Seth Marshall keeps the ball for himself. Runs it in for a long, easy touchdown. 24-7. Blue Raiders trail. Cleveland trying to get back in it. Austin Massey leading the charge, but his pass is going to be picked off by Alex Birch. And it's a pick six. He takes it to the house for the touchdown. Too much from the Rebels as they win it by a final of 38 to 14. Taking a look at the scoreboard, it was Austin East over Brainerd 27 to 21. Hickson gets by Livingston Academy 39 to 34. Elsewhere, it was Eastridge falling by a point to Loudon 23-22 and South Pittsburgh rolls over Grundy County by a final of 49 to 27. Ray County beat rival Red Bank 44 to nothing last season, and the Golden Eagles offense appears revved up for tonight's meeting with the Lions. They're averaging over 40 points a game. The Golden Eagles have already hit the 40-point mark by the time we arrive, 40 to nothing in the third quarter. But midway through the third, Ben Brown, he's going to find a hole behind the linebackers, and he hoofs it for the Red Bank first score of the night, but on the very next possession. This looks like a broken play here, but quarterback Daniel Dotson airs it out, and he's going to find Zach Doust to reclaim the Eagles' 40-point lead. Now, as we head to the fourth quarter, a little mop-up time here. Seth Stolz hands off to Dylan Smith, who goes around the right end to extend Ray County's lead to 54-7, and that would be your final. The Eagles win it by that final of 54-7. Cancer support. Signal hosting Bradley Central. Bears, the trickeration. They're going to fake this punt despite that bad snap. Ryan still on the reception. He's going to pick up the first down, but the Bears could not get any points. Now perhaps the toughest run of the year. Sky Wilson for the Eagles up the gut. Not even the entire, not even the entire Bradley defense can bring him on, down. Fight. He's like the Terminator. Number 30 jumping on top there. That made it 7-0. I told you it's a tough run. Second quarter, Wilson finds less resistance on that touchdown run. It's 13-0. Guess who Signal gives it to again? Sky Wilson. Why not? Signal Mountain goes on to beat Bradley Central tonight by a final score of 27 to 7. And I think Sky Wilson carried the bus for Signal Mountain. You could say the Sky's You um, could say that. There are a bunch of them with his name, that's for sure. Lancaster Christian spoils homecoming for Howard 34 to 18. Sadie Daisy over Tyner 46 to 21. Grace Academy at home tonight. They fall to Eagleville 62 27. And White County, they beat CCS by a touchdown. Coming up next, Walker Valley gets a crack at another county rival or another rival in Polk County. Plus, Heritage entertains Southeast Whitfield, and Ringgold tries to find a way to slow down perennial power Calhoun.